You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. Uh, like five something in the morning right now, 5.15. And uh, we're getting our meal set real quick. We're gonna eat before we hit the road for the Motor Enclave Cars and Coffee and then the car rally. And it's a charity car rally. So at that point, we're gonna be stopping by a couple couple big hospitals and seeing like, you know, some kids that are cancer patients and stuff like that and some staff that's gonna come out and see the cars. We're gonna give some toys away to some of these kids too as well. And uh, it's gonna be an exciting day. First rally for us and for a good cause. That's the main thing, right? Let's go inside. Uh, so this is the event center here at the Enclave um, where we have a garage and at that point, it's ridiculous in here. So right now we're going to the VIP breakfast, which they have a hot breakfast set for us, which is really nice um, for them to do. So we can eat a little bit because we had to get here so early this morning. We drive the house, or left the house, I think it was like five something in the morning. We're going to attempt to put this banner on and put it on straight. What's up guys? So I'm here at Cars and Coffee at the Motor Enclave. This beautiful Saturday morning, I'm heading out to our charity rally. And guess who comes up to me? My good friend and college good friend going back in the day that long ago, Ben <laughs> Armrest. Ball State all the right. way, right? Corvette owner, fellow Corvette Dude. owner. I mean, it, it, life. it's exciting. Both living in Florida, yep. from Indiana, so we know that cold weather. We've been there too long. At that point, coming down the Sunshine State has been just an awesome thing all the way through. Expectations through. were here. Sunshine State delivered <laughs> right. up here. Ridiculous. <laughs> so I want to at least do a video so you can see Ben, and we're just conversating, just catching up on old times, and hopefully new memories are going to be made. Just want to give him a big shout out. Love you, Ben. Love and man, it's, it's, been, yeah. it's been so long, man. I appreciate For sure. it. For sure. Absolutely. Hillsborough County, sheriffs in the building. Our police escorts are here. They've arrived. So we're here right now. Our police escorts have just arrived. Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department is gonna escort us on our rally. I hope you guys are ready for the journey. But it is super cool. And so many people out there just taking videos because all these super cars are going by them. Like, what is going on out here? All right, we've arrived. Stop number one, St. Joe's Hospital. I want to thank everybody for coming out and supporting at all the different levels, especially our, our key sponsors. We just had St. Joe's, got to give the kids their, their special bags and presents. And now we are heading off right now to John Hopkins um, Hospital. So we're going through here right now, rallying through. 
and uh, we're going to be on a little trip to St. Petersburg to stop at John Hopkins and see the kids that are over there in the pediatric cancer unit. So we just arrived at John Hopkins All Children Hospital. You give kids smiles like that that are going through something traumatic like this is it's, 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 it's priceless. Come on, MJ. Do you want to sit in the car or you want to go by the superheroes? What do you think? Drive one of these later, right? So we're here at Bella Brava, sitting down with all the other rally participants and getting to talk to them, learn about what they do or who they are, which is really cool because everybody's pretty cool here. All right, guys. So we're at the end of the journey today with the National Pediatric Cancer Foundation Charity Rally. And we had an amazing day, amazing weather. Big shout out to Hillsborough County Sheriff's yeah, Office. they did a good job. They did an awesome job. It was like a presidential uh, blockade where they were going and blocking off highways, streets, and it was just our rally cars. And big shout out to all the other drivers that participated in this charity. I think there was 43 in total, including ours. So amazing cars. And a huge cars. shout out to Motor Enclave. Motor Enclave for Motor sure. Motor Enclave, you guys are awesome. You guys put together a great event. Brad, um, Katie for executing. All of you guys. And everybody that was involved in behind the scenes work that we didn't mention. Big shout out. It's, uh, it's awesome events like this that we love to be a part of because we're actually helping people out there in one way or the other with the charity. And we're having a fun time doing it and being able to be active out there with other like-minded individuals. And it's a breath of fresh air to meet people like that. So we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna head home. Might get home a little bit faster than we came here. We'll see about <laughs> that. Yes. But you know, check out the whole video if you guys haven't. And at that point, make sure you subscribe to all our channels, press the like button, give us a comment, tell us what you guys think about it. And uh, maybe we'll make some more cool content like this or amazing new content that you guys are going to love. So stay tuned. See you soon. What's up, guys? John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And we are here with another tight medical movie review just for you. <laughs> so tonight we got to see Strangers Chapter One. And so what I thought this movie was going to be was it was going to be like an origin story. Of uh, where they all came from or like yeah, why the, they're doing what they're doing. And yeah, some basis around some of these characters that in the previous movies have just wore masks. I was a little let down in the way that they killed some people in here. I'm not gonna tell you who, but at that point, when they did kill the people, I'm like, oh, like all this buildup for this, like, okay, but, yeah, okay. right? Like, if you're gonna do that, like, you're gonna have to chop up the bodies and like cut off an arm and let them bleed a little and then cry, yeah, and then cut off a leg, and yeah, then cut off and then use this a, 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 a pliers, you just want to torture, pull them. off the toe, torture, just make it torture, but not just like something like me. gruesome, yeah. It was, like I said, I thought it could have been a little bit better, but this was supposed to be chapter one, two, so maybe it was just a start off. Yeah, I, I, I liked it uh, to a certain extent. I thought it could have been a little bit better. I liked the other movies better than this one, the previous films. Yeah, that one, that one was better, films. for sure. Um, and at that point, I'm gonna give it a 2.7. I, I told Shreese right when I walked out of there, I was like, I know you what I'm gonna You got it nailed to the wall. Like, I didn't even have to think about it. Like I, I, like I said, I thought the movie was, was decent in some aspects but it, it fell short in some other aspects and um, it didn't tell an origin story. Why it would did it, not tell a story at all. Why would it be chapter one if we don't even know where the characters came it from? It was no story. It was literally just and, people in the woods and then these other people went to the woods and then they were taunted and nothing happened. You know, I mean, you know, the two be continued, maybe they're gonna tell it in chapter two, right? But. For, but you, but you gotta, get us attached get us first. Get us attached to chapter one if you want to. Get us attached, yeah. I mean, I mean, geez. Well, I want to come back and watch chapter two. I'm yeah. going to come and see chapter two just for you well, guys and duh. myself. But, Movie review just for you. Yeah, so I'm going to go see it. But, you know, I really want to be enticed to go see it. I mean, my, my, my rating gonna is going to have to go with the round of two. Ooh, okay. A round of two. She beat me last time. Yeah, I'm going to have to say two on this one. Um, I definitely, I don't know. I guess I, I maybe had a little bit of expectation out of the movie because I, the other one was 
it was okay. It was pretty decent. So I was looking forward to this movie, but this movie really didn't have too much of anything. Okay, here's the key things, right? You know, you're always in the movie, you see the girls run upstairs and you're like, don't do that. Or like, you know, they do stuff and it's like, I almost think that they purposely do it. So you're like, don't you do that. Don't, you know, grab this, do that. Listen, if you got a gun and you got the gun to somebody's head or you got it in their back or whatever, shoot them. They're going to kill you, right? Yeah. Or if you have a knife or you have a, 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 an ax yeah. or something and you have them right here at the neck, kill them. You know what I mean? You add a little excitement to the movie and, and just kill them. Yeah. And then you may not die. 2.0, 2.7, you heard me and Sharice's ratings. You should go and see it for yourselves and see what you think because you might have totally a different opinion. You might want to put a potato bag over we... your head too. <laughs> and we'll see what's going on here. So <laughs> Strangers Chapter 1 officially done. 2.7, 2.0. We'll see you next time at the movies. See you then. My husband is tired all the time until a friend of ours recommended Titan Medical Center. At Titan Medical, they were able to put him back on track. Now he's eating healthier, feeling more energized, exercising regularly, and having extra energy to spend time with me and our beautiful baby. Thank you so much, Titan Medical Center. So the word on the streets is uh, a HRT or TRT company is expensive and will break your back and that's the only way you can get in shape. I was lucky enough to find Titan Medical and get away from that kind of approach in companies that were just uh, gouging. taking, gouging. I, I could have a hundred words for this. And it's disgusting what they're charging and what they're doing. Why is Titan Medical so different? I think that for us, we just want to do by, right by the patient. We'll make sure we get the patient a good result and it doesn't break their piggy bank or their bank account. They can come in, they can get month to month therapies. They're not locked in any contracts or having to buy four to six months of medication at a time. And, and it sucks. It really does that there's companies doing that to people that want to get better because hope is a beautiful thing. And, and to be with Titan Medical and be in better shape, be healthy. Um, and just this whole week, I, I get to go, wow, I still gotta do this. I hope others get to do what I get to do. Feel the way I get to feel. To be at this stage and not be in pain or aches and still be healthy and take my shirt off at the pool. You may be laughing back there, people, but it's a big thing for people. They, they're embarrassed to go to the pools and go out and live life. Titan Medical allows you to do that and save your money and spend it on your family instead of gouging you and taking your money for, for treatment that does help, but they're just money hungry. Walk away from that. If you're with a company right now that does that to you, walk away. Talk to Titan Medical. Compare the two companies, Pair, compare them all. I challenge you to compare any company to Titan Medical and how they set up their pricing and how they work. You're not gonna find it. So, you know, it's it's up to you, man, seriously. Get over to Titan Medical, get this going. These people care about family first. That's right. And you'll be a part of the Titan family when you sign up to be patient with us. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and Sharice are giving you guys those awesome tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite those, you know, diminished flames or hopefully take your relationship to a whole new level of enlightenment and better, right? You want to be better. So we're trying to get you guys there. So each week we're going to go in depth in some of these tips or tricks or some of the things that will help you guys. And maybe you're not in a relationship right now, but it will help you in your future relationship. And hopefully you guys will be successful in the future. 
So this week we want to cover communication. Now technically we cover this in every single episode. This is true. We, we bring up the word communication at least once. I could probably go back in every episode and bring it up. Absolutely. But communication is key, right? It's like one of the most important things in a relationship outside of probably, you know, what? We'll just call it sex and love relationship, business relationship <laughs> and life, your kids, whoever you're talking to, your work, whatever it is, communication is key and yes. vital. And the way that you communicate is another big, a big way that, you know, if they're going to be able to hear what you're saying or listen to what you're saying, that's a whole different thing, right? Because, you know, you might be in a situation where you're starting to tell somebody something and it's just falling on deaf ears. You tell them over and over and over and they just don't get the hint or don't get the point or just keep doing what you told them you really don't like them to do, Right. Or what you want to do, possibly. Yeah, or yeah, it's, it could be the other way around. It could, it could be, be like even yeah. something like, or maybe you're trying to get something out of them and they're not talking to you. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's, why, why aren't you talking to me? Or you might say everything's just fine, and we all know it's not fine when you're, you know, acting weird. And have, a lot of people have a different way of communicating to people, right? Where some people would want to just talk to them briefly. Some people, they sugarcoat things and kind of go around the subjects to maybe bring it out of the other person. Some people yell at people, and they think that that's going to get their point across even more, too, as well. Um, you know, there's another couple of different ways you can do it where you can text somebody or you can write them a personal letter. I think, honestly, I do the letter thing still, right? So, you know, whether it's good or bad, right? Because even good things, if you want to communicate good things, you can tell somebody that you love them. I love you every day. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. You know, you're my world, blah, 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 right? But when you write it in a piece of paper, I feel like even just like reading it, right? Yep. And just kind of even reading it to yourself or reading out loud to yourself, it just kind of hits you in a different spot, right? So the same thing goes for if you're having issues with your significant other, right? And you're trying to get your point across and they're just not understanding. Or maybe they're only listening to a quarter of what you're saying. Mm -hmm. If you give them a letter, majority of the time, guys, people don't do this thing where they like read like five words and then skip five words and then read five words and skip five words. They're going to read it all. OK, mm -hmm. usually mm -hmm. most people do anyway. So they're going to read it. And hopefully maybe without you, maybe maybe you let's just call it what it is. Maybe you've just been yapping so much that it really is just falling on deaf ears. So at this point, maybe they actually will process what you're trying to say because they're reading it and they're like, oh, OK, well, maybe maybe it comes across differently. Even some people because this took me a long time. This took me probably. <laughs> I want to say almost 10 years, right? So for 14, 15, yeah, about 10 years. It took me about 10 years to come to a point with John, right? <laughs> where I didn't talk a certain way when I was like upset about something or if something bothered me, right? I, I so, when he first met me, I'm telling you, I was so quick to fly off the handle. It didn't, it didn't matter what it was. It was just like zero to a million, not even zero to a hundred, zero to a million. You had no chance to speak at all. And it would just be like, rah, 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 rah. and it would be like, he'd be like, hold up, hold up. Up. Hold up. First of all, first you need to calm down, yeah. okay? Yeah. So let's let's have you calm down. And then after you calm down, then we can talk. And I'm just <laughs> That's all you'd hear, right? I'm, I'm actually talking, but this is all he hears. All he hears is <laughs> he didn't hear, you know what? I was really upset about this, 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 and this, and I was mad, and he's not hearing any of that. All he's hearing is just screaming. So I have come to a point in the relationship where I know how to speak to my husband for the majority of the time anyway, unless I'm just way off the handle, which is like once a year, you know, it's not that bad. But, you know, I, I really think that letters like hit home. I do. Because you can kind of maybe even something you weren't able to speak to, mm -hmm. like say to their face, because mm -hmm. sometimes not to say that people don't have the, you know, the guts to do it, but sometimes you may not have the guts to say something to somebody's face. So then you put in a letter, not to say that that makes you any lesser or weaker of an individual, but maybe, maybe you need to write it down, right? Write it down and give it to them and put just honestly, guys, please don't make it awkward and like hand them a letter in like an envelope or something while you sit there and watch them read it. Cause that is read so this. awkward. Okay. Don't do that. 
Hey, warning, do not sit there and watch them read the letter, okay? That is so awkward, okay? Awkward. Awkward, for sure. Awkward. Um, but anyways, just leave it somewhere where you know that they're going to see it after you are gone. <laughs> Literally, make sure you are like going to work or you are leaving the house to go shopping or you're going to the grocery store or you're going somewhere where they can read it alone, right? So guys, I mean, think about what, what they got to brush their teeth. They got to put on deodorant. John's got to put on his jewelry. Jeez. I mean, there's a lot of places you can put this thing that he's going to find it or she's going to find it yeah. at some point in time in that little window of you being gone. Yeah. For sure. I agree. A hundred percent. And like Sharice said, I mean, it could be good things and bad things and or bad things, I should say. Because, I mean, you just don't want it to be every time there's a problem. I mean, obviously you want to talk about it, right? And, and get it cleared up, whatever the issue is. So you guys can both move on and everybody's over the issue. Uh, but the good things, too, as well. So not every time they see a letter, it's going to be, oh, my God, what do I do now? Not the you letter. That, right? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I can always tell if I'm going to be in trouble by the way Sharice tells me something. Like, you know, I, I need to talk to you now. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Like, this is, what, what's going on now? Like, yeah, it's, you not, know? it's not, hey, can I talk to you real quick? It's, I need to speak with you. Yeah, now. 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 So that, that's another one. But, you know, Sharice has definitely let me, like, you know, letters in the bathroom, uh, you know, I love you, or, you know, it's, you know, little love notes and stuff like that, which are awesome, right? Because people like that, too, and, and that builds spirit, builds morale. You know, it's more of a bonding thing, too. It brings you closer to that person, I think. But, uh, you know, I think the communication is key. And um, when there is an issue, and let's say you've said it over and over and over, you've told somebody three or four times you didn't want to do this or you did want to do something, whatever it is, right? Because there's a whole bunch of different issues that you guys could be bringing up. And it affects you in different ways, right? But at that point, like, you should definitely be able to talk to them. And if you're getting in front of somebody, and like Sheree said, you just can't break it down or you right. just can't bring yourself to tell them, mm -hmm. then you definitely need to write them a note, write them a text message, something out there um, where you can communicate it to them and they can read it in their own style yeah. and at their own pace and maybe absorb it that way. Um, and like Sheree said, like, you know, stick to the points, right? Don't go off and start going into all these different circles <laughs> in other areas. Like, there, there's a five page letter. You're, you're, reading you're mad about one thing and then it goes into like five other things. They're just totally off point. Um, you know, people's tension spans, the tension spans are small, right? It's limited. And that's everybody out there. I don't care yeah. who you are. <laughs> and the younger you are, they say the, you know, the less time shorter, you have, the, the yeah, shorter, shorter time, the time you have is your tension span. So, you know, with your kids and stuff like that, you got to communicate a little bit faster, right? More to the point. Get to the point. What's what? What is the point of your conversation? I say that all the time. <laughs> John used to do this to me all the time. Going on, I'm like, all right, so. All right, let's, let's get to the point, right? All right let, come on. He's like, and then I would get mad at him because I'm like, you're not listening to me. And he's like, I've been listening to you for literally 20 minutes, yeah. okay? He's like, and I just, all I'm asking is for you to just get to the point. Like, what are you mad about? What's the issue? What are we trying to accomplish <laughs> here? You see, this, I, this, is, this is not now. This is definitely back then. Yeah, for sure. Now I, I really am like to the point like, hey, let's talk real quick. And you know, it's because I'm either tired yeah. or busy. Yeah. So this has been great for our relationship being busy you but know, and I, I think, don't do it don't I, drag it out I think, uh, yeah don't try to drag it out right because like i said tension spans and you know at that point once you guys kind of find what works for you guys communication wise you guys will be able to utilize that in the future and then whatever issues come up or good things or whatever it is you guys can communicate this way and it, it, it's it's good on both sides right um, because the yelling is not going to do it, all right? People get upset. I understand why you, you get to the point where you yell, you're frustrated, and you think that this is the only way, or they won't eat talk, and they're talking over you, and you have to go up a level higher in your voice, and oh. they do the exact same, and then just gets to a screaming match, and then <laughs> where have you guys gotten? Now you guys are in this big old fight that could be over this little thing that could have been you know talked about and accomplished and communicated about very easily and simply, and you guys move on with your day without this dragged out dramatics okay because <laughs> listen some people like dramatics and drama and all that i don't so i'm, I'm just good. like listen whatever it is like i just don't want any drama what can i do to fix this situation or what did i do wrong so i can learn from a mistake but some people they just don't they don't get it or they just don't want to hear it that's another side mm. of it your partner's got to want to hear it too yeah true because if they don't they're just like oh whatever screw you i'm out the door and then they leave like you haven't communicated your point, like they won't do it. You try to send them a text message, oh, whatever, they send you back. Like it, you, then you feel really frustrated because 
you've tried to verbally communicate to them, you've wrote, wrote, written them a text message, or maybe even a letter, and you know, letters they didn't respond to you, whatever it may be. So, I mean, it's gotta be on their side too as well. Like when you do communicate to somebody, they gotta wanna be able to accept what you're, what you're telling them. Yeah. Um, and not just push it off too as well. And if they're not, then listen, you guys need to work on whatever it is, why they're not doing that. And if that doesn't come around, then, you know, maybe it ain't going to work Then it might out. not be a good fit anymore. But you at know? least try. But you definitely got to try. And the only way that you get these points across and that you try your best is when you communicate. Because if you hold it in and you don't tell them, they're you not going to be able to read your up. mind. You like bottle a little, up. little baby genie. Frustration. And then all <laughs> of a sudden, after the littlest thing they do, Rah! Yeah, it, it's a nuclear explosion, dude. And then you're going at them at like 12 different ways of why you're upset. And, why and you're then you're mad. like, what? And you got your partner over here like, you're what? Like, I thought I, you were just mad about the laundry. Yeah, like, all of a sudden where's it's all like, this coming from? And you did this and you did that. And, you know, a week ago and I didn't like that. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's take this back to the laundry. Like, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> well, I did try to tell you. That, that's the thing. So, yeah. you know, make sure you make it a point. To tell your partner, hey, listen, this is important to me. I need you to listen to me. And at that point, they should want to sit down and be like, all right, what's going on? Um, and then get to the point. Like I said, don't don't just do dramatics. Don't bring up all this other stuff. Get to the point at what you want to do. And then find out what you guys can do to get over the problem issue or whatever the communication is and move on so you guys can have success in your relationship. Yes. I think that's key. So communication is key. Communicate. Communicate. Try communicate. different ways of communication if you need to. Verbal communication might not always work. You can make a video and leave it to them or send it to them on their phone. You can text them. You can write them a Be easy message. with those text messages, guys. Yeah. Because, I mean, listen, sometimes I will say because it – I'm going to say this because I truly believe this, right? Because back I grew up in days where I, there was no cell phones, yeah. right? So then you had to write a letter. But I do feel like when you have to like physically handwrite out something, I feel like you might think about it twice yeah. if you decide to just, you know, even if you talk to text and you're texting the whole thing, it's gonna, it might come out the same exact way mm. or even worse. Oh, for sure. And then somebody's reading it totally incorrect. How many text messages have you sent to somebody? And they're like, I didn't mean it like, that <laughs> right and that's a problem sometimes with writing things down or texting people yeah that they they read it and they read it how they want to read it yeah so if they so be careful they think like oh this person's attacking me even more on this and they get very defensive about it so yeah just be easy about it just make sure, read it read it back to yourself yeah. before you send it or Absolutely. read it back to yourself before you give them the letter so Absolutely. it makes sense and, and watch for your, you know, spelling. Want to communicate. Errors. Don't be defensive if you, you possibly can. You don't want to be like that. Come in there with an open mind. Talk to them. Hopefully, they'll do the same. Reciprocate, and you guys can have a successful communication and relationship. So, guys, this is just another tip and trick for me and Sharice to you guys. Trust me, we've uh, we've definitely vetted this one out for a long, long time. Uh, you know, it's Poor John. It's way to perfection. Poor John. I feel bad for John. And, you know, I know that he loves me. Like, he really, <laughs> truly loves me. This is true. This Thank is God. true. God bless. Uh, so, guys, join us every week for Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you guys didn't watch it live, make sure you DVR it. Or check out YouTube for all the episodes there and all of our other cool content. Make sure you guys are checking out the website, tightmedicalcenter.com. And go follow us and like us on social media. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and all the great things in the metaverse that are coming. <laughs> we're going to be there with you guys. All right? We love you. We'll see you next week for Cupid's Corner. And we're out. See ya.